Hey, I want to talk to you today about some of the things we place on our faces. Whether it be to repair the skin or to uh, prevent breakouts or acne or to even slow down the aging process. We need to know what these items are and these ingredients, these popular ingredients. So we're going to look at those today. We're going to look at glycolic acid, salicylic acid, and we'll throw some others in the mix as well. So huh. stay tuned. 30% glycolic, glycolic acid. Hmm. Well, let's give it a try. Okay, we want to talk about our next, I don't know why I'm playing with this today. This fan feels good on my face. We want to go into our next acid, uh, beta hydroxy acid. Uh, basically is salicylic acid. What is salicylic acid? Salicylic acid, like glycolic acid, is a chemical exfoliant. And it's basically used uh, to fight, tackle, It'll beat down uh, acne uh, in most products. Now it's limited in the concentrations that uh, can be allowed in products for skin care uh, to 2%. If you need more than 2%, uh, you need to get a prescription from a doctor, but typically 2% uh, will uh, work for most people. Uh, it is a very strong acid. That's why only 2% is allowed as a maximum in these mass uh, over-the-counter products so uh, please be careful when using it uh, also a warning caveat if you use salicylic acid on your face if you treat your face with it make sure you use a sunscreen uh, it has been proven that salicylic uh, acid and glycolic acid for that matter both make your skin extremely sensitive to UVA UVB uh, UVR so uh, you need to have a good sunscreen after you use it. Can't, can't emphasize that enough. Make sure it's above 15 SPF. Make sure it has titanium dioxide, avobenzone, or zinc oxide in it. Uh, and apply that before heading out. Very important. Now salicylic acid is a little different than the benzoyl peroxide and the glycolics, uh, which basically are in pills. Uh, P-E-E-L-S. Uh, salicylic acid is more for spot treatment of acne rather than for just a routine type uh, broad base uh, remedy. If you, if you sense that you're getting acne and acne inflammation, just if you sense the slightest elevation in your skin, go ahead and pop some salicylic on it. Uh, overnight and uh, let that begin to attack uh, before it even comes to the surface. That's what you want to do. Uh, with acne it's good to prevent acne. Uh, once you get acne then you got to deal with the whole cycle of it uh, raising to a head and, and you know popping or whatever and then healing. So that's you know that's a long time. That's about four weeks, three weeks. Uh, process. So go ahead and, you know, when you wash your face at night, you know, before you put your moisturizer on, go ahead and feel your face and see if there's any elevations about to happen. If, if acne is doing its thing under your skin, and go ahead and pop some salicylic. Clean and clear is pretty good. Uh, advantage acne spot treatment. Uh, that's all this is for, for spot treatment. Uh, salicylic acid is just for spot treatment. A lot of people think it's for a broad based routine type of uh, treatment. It's not. It's just for spot treatment. So if you feel one coming, go ahead and put some of this on it, a thin layer. It'll dry it out. That's okay. That's kind of what you want. You want it to dry out. Uh, <sighs> Oof. Okay, I need to be cooled off from all that excitement. Uh, but anyway, it's very much associated uh, with the acetylsalicylic uh, acid, uh, which is basically aspirin. So 
Uh, when you do an aspirin mass, you hear people doing aspirin mass. That's basically what they're doing is a salicylic mass, and that's cool. Uh, you can do that periodically. So because it is basically uh, very close to aspirin in its uh, construction, it still retains the analgesic qualities that uh, aspirin has and for your face. So it's, it, can, it can actually heal and uh, make skin more healthy uh, by uh, attacking any, any bacteria or, or infections or anything that might uh, be on the surface of the skin. So that's salicylic, man. Go out, get you some just in case. Uh, to be honest, I don't get acne. I haven't had acne in a very long time. Uh, I use Kudakura soap and uh, I tone. I wash my face three times a day. Don't get acne. But I do have this just in case. Uh, an acne bump, you know, wants to come right up on my nose there and protrude out and, uh, you know, cause me problems when I look down and see it as a second nose and. And all that so I just have this just in case you know you got to bring your best self forward if you've got a big bump on your nose uh, it could cause uh, cause problems in your workplace and and just in uh, outside the home so there you have it go get you some peace